Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for taking the time to join into this training today. My name is Faith Rivera, and I have the privilege of being the Community Alignment Coordinator for the Help Me Grow North Texas Initiative. We are so thankful to our partners at First Three Years for helping make this training platform possible, and so thankful to our variety of community partners from across the region and the state for submitting quality trainings that are so relevant to both families and providers across our area. I wanted to share with you a little bit today about Help Me Grow North Texas and why we see that training is so important to providers and families across our community. Help Me Grow is a national evidence-based model that we are fortunate in North Texas to be the first affiliate in the state of Texas. We now also serve as a demonstration and replication site for the other Help Me Grow communities that are popping up across the state. Help Me Grow is an evidence-based model, so there are key components that we have to implement here in North Texas in order to meet the fidelity of the model. These four key components, or you may hear them referred to as gears, all have to function in tandem like wheels on a car in order for the system to function and move in the right direction. The first key component is our centralized access point. This is our family navigation program where we have child development specialists, our family navigators, who are answering calls for families and providers across the community. They're maintaining our Find Connect resource database with plenty of resources across our region for families to be able to get connected with, as well as offering follow-up and linkage support to make sure that families have access to the quality services that they deserve to be able to raise their child. They're also working with families to make sure that they are learning to be resourceful and learn how to advocate for themselves and their child, because we know that families, caregivers, and parents are the best support and teacher for their young children. And so our navigators walk alongside them as extra support. Providers in the region can also call our family navigators to receive some additional support that they may need while serving their clients. The next piece is data collection. We need to see from the data, where are there quality improvement efforts that need to be happening? What are families sharing that they're experiencing? And how do we make sure that we are keeping racial equity at the core of all that we do? The next piece is family and community outreach. So making sure that the name of Help Me Grow More Texas gets out there to families and community partners through marketing, events, networking, and other avenues. And lastly, is provider support and training. So the purpose of this training platform is making sure that all providers in our region that work with families have access to high quality affordable trainings in order to continue to improve their professional development to offer families the best quality services possible. So next is our region map. How far is the span of Help Me Grow North Texas? We are so proud that we can say that we are 18 counties wide that we are the first region-wide effort for early childhood in North Texas, that we have been able to bridge the divide that often happens between Terry and Dallas and incorporate the surrounding counties for both of those counties as well to serve all families in North Texas with young children. And now what is it that our family navigators actually focus on? They have three main areas of support that they support families and service providers with. That first is navigation with connection. So finding the unique needs that that family has and offering them the resources that they need in order to be successful, helping make sure that they have successful connection through follow-up and an ongoing relationship to support the needs of that family. Second is a safe place to go for questions. No questioner is too big or too small for the family navigators. They are a safe place for families to ask any kind of question that they have about their child's development, behavior, or any other parenting concerns they may have. And then lastly is developmental screening. Help Me Grow North Texas is a firm believer in universal screening for all children under the age of six to make sure that as a region, as a community, we are celebrating the strengths of all of our children and identifying any areas of need that the family may have. And then lastly is how do you connect with us? So there's a lot of information and resources that Help Me Grow North Texas offers to the community. And the best way to figure out what's going on and stay up to date is to check out our website, www.helpmegrownorthtexas.org. We're also on social media at Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter with the handle Help Me Grow NTX. We hope that you will like us on social media and make sure that you follow us to stay up to date with all things Help Me Grow.
Thank you so much and enjoy the training. Thank you for attending COHC's virtual parent education sessions. I want to welcome you and say thank you again. We are excited to have you here to be a part of this conversation for today. I want to give you just a little bit um, information. I am Elaine Bivens, the coordinator for the Children's Oral Health Coalition. And we are excited to share our first virtual um, parent education series with you on growing healthy kids from pregnancy and beyond, but nobody tells you. These sessions are a unique opportunity for new and experienced parents to grow skills and awareness about a kid's oral health, overall health, and well-being. Raising kids is not easy, and they don't come with instruction. We want to help parents by providing access to tools, community resources, topics, and providers um, around different and difficult conversations as you navigate parenthood. The information we are sharing throughout the series is good for anyone that is supporting parents to help kids grow up healthy and safe. We have a dynamic group of panelists who will discuss the different types of insurance plans, what is covered, key questions to ask your medical or dental provider, and they'll also share some of their service areas. So the Children's Oral Health Coalition has been around since 1999, and we are tasked with improving the oral health of children in Tarrant County through community collaboration. Um, I want to take a minute to introduce you all to Marissa Navarro. She is our moderator for the evening. She's with Maximus, and she will share a little bit more about herself here in just a minute, but I also wanted to recognize our panelists. Blanca Rodriguez is with the Cook Children's Health Plan. We have Leatrice Anderson, who's with Edna. Lydia Bell is with Amerigroup. Brenda Oliveras is with DentaQuest. And we have Christy Ruton with United Healthcare Dental. And on that note, I am now gonna turn you over to Miss Marissa. So thank you so much, Elaine, for allowing me to be a part of this parent education series about insurance. Um, just to explain a little bit about Maximus, uh, Maximus is an agency contracted with, by the Health and Human Service Commission. We are the enrollment broker for the state. Uh, the role of the enrollment broker is to educate people who've applied for Medicaid um, about the managed care programs and to also educate Medicaid recipients about the Texas Health Step benefits their children will receive and how to use them and how to keep their benefits. Uh, the enrollment broker also helps with plan changes when needed and provides support during and after the enrollment process. So in Texas, there's five different types of Medicaid. So if you think of Medicaid, think of it as an umbrella. And then there's different types of Medicaid that one could qualify for. So there's the STAR program. Um, there's also STAR Plus. Uh, there's STAR Kids, STAR Health, and then there's also the traditional Medicaid, also known as fee-for-service. Um, <clears throat> so the fee-for-service, typically whenever somebody applies for Medicaid and they get approved, they do start off on traditional, which is fee-for-service. That's where they see a provider, and then that provider will be the one to um, bill the Medicaid directly. And that will last with the STAR program about 15 days. And that gives us as the enrollment broker enough time to reach out and help you choose a health plan. And then you will transition over into whichever um, medical program or I'm sorry, Medicaid program you qualified for. So uh, throughout this presentation, you'll hear us um, use the word MCO, which is the managed care organization. Um, they are the health care company or health plan that is focused on managing care as a model to limit costs while keeping the quality of care high. The type of Medicaid coverage a client gets just depends on where they live and what kind of health issues they have. If a client does not know what type of Medicaid program that they're in, they could always call us at the STAR program. Um, children in Texas without health insurance may be able to get low cost or free health care coverage through either Children's Medicaid or the Children's Health Insurance Program, also known as CHIP. So 
So Children's Medicaid is a healthcare program for children in low income families. Uh, CHIP is a healthcare program for children whose families earn too much to get Medicaid but cannot afford the health insurance, um, the private health insurance. To get Medicaid or CHIP, a child must be age 18 or younger. In some cases, children with disabilities age 19 and 20 can get Medicaid. They also must be a Texas resident and a U.S. citizen or qualified non-citizen. Whenever a family applies with HHSC, um, they will ask about family's income to see which programs the, ch uh, the child or family can get. And so just to remember, Children's Medicaid is free. Um, if HHSC does find a child can get Children's Medicaid, there is no cost to receive the services. Um, CHIP, on the other hand, fees do vary based on the income. If HHSC finds a child qualify for CHIP, the enrollment fee and co-pays will be based on the family's income. Enrollment fees are um, about $50 or less per family per year. And they also do have co-pays for doctor visits and medicines range anywhere from three to five dollars or lower income families for lower income families and 20 to 35 for higher income families. Um, so I just wanted to thank each panelist for joining us today. Each of you will have five minutes to share key information about your insurance plan, eligibility requirements, what's covered, and your service area. So now that I've given you some basic information about Maximus, the different types of insurance programs, what's covered and who's eligible, let's talk with each of the managed care organizations, so the health plans, to hear more about their individual plans. Uh, we will hear from the medical managed care organizations and then the dental managed care organizations. Our first medical health plan panelist is Blanca Rodriguez. She's with Cook Children's Health Plan. Blanca is a member services, um, sorry, member service lead for Cook Children's Health Plan. Blanca. Thank you, Marissa. Thank you, everybody, for joining us this evening and um, allowing us to come to your homes and organizations to speak on uh, this important topic. Um, Cook Children's Health Plan is a local based nonprofit health organization, uh, which we provide health care under Medicaid, CHIP, and Star Kids members. Uh, we are part of Cook Children's Health Systems as a whole, and we're proud to live here and work with you all here in the community. The service areas that Cook Children's Health Plan does cover are Tarrant County, Denton, Hood, Johnson, Parker, and Wise County. Um, we try to take care of your whole family and Cook Children's Plan offers quality health care plans for all ages and not just children. The eligibility really is how Marissa just talked about. Um, it is based on income. Um, so we encourage you to apply. Um, and through that, the website you will use is yourtexasbenefits.com. You enter your information and we encourage you to go ahead and do so. Um, and if you feel that the income that is provided um, through HHSC um, is too much or too little, um, go ahead and still apply. Um, and there's always a chance that the state reviews everything. And if they have any questions, they'll reach out to you. What I will be covering is individual value added benefits, also known as VAS for short. Um, and for our specific health plan, which again, it's Cook Children's Health Plan, we cover um, been extra benefits that these programs um, provide. Um, and when we say extra benefits, it's specifically to um, the MCO and it's everything extra that you're already going to be receiving under the said programs. Um, under Cook Children's, um, also known as CCHP, uh, we offer a 24-hour nurse advice line. This is available to you at 24-7, eight days a week, or seven days a week, 
and um, there is a number that you call and a nurse will get back to you quickly as possible. Also the benefits, um, there is a school or a sport physical that is covered. It's one school um, physical that a child can receive. And again, it's through your PCP or also your provider that you wish that um, to perform that. Um, we have extra vision services. It's $125. Um, for prescription eyeglasses, frames, and lenses, or it's a $75 for contact lenses and fitting fees. In case um, there is an accident or you lose um, the glasses or something happens, because we all know that children, um, it happens to our children, um, please feel, feel free to reach out to our member services line and an advocate will help you um, in answering some of those questions. Also, um, we are under our value add benefits. There is a bad tub mealer. This is a one time offer for the whole entire family. It helps us to be involved one at bath time with our children and do not leave them in our um, bathtubs and that prevents us from any child um, drownings that have occurred. So we encourage our parents to go ahead and be focused and ready and spending that quality time um, for bath time. Also, um, just for our STAR Kids members, we offer the special healthcare needs camps. It's up to $200 per member towards an enrollment of an approved health a special program. Um, through a camp. We have a list, um, reach out to our member advocates, or you can always go to our website, which is cookchp.org. In addition, we also have a Healthy Me program. And this really encompasses a more of taking um, your kiddos to the doctor for physicals and all your um, appointments that are needed. So it's the $15 gift card for members who complete a Texas Health Step checkup at two weeks, two months, four months, six months, nine, 12, 15 months, and 18 months. In addition, our members can get a $25 gift card um, for those Texas Health Steps that were mentioned earlier. We really encourage you to do those. Um, for our star member only a member, um, we have an incentive of $25 for um, diabetes. There's a diabetes program. We encourage, encourage the healthy eating and um, a caseworker and a member advocate again will be available when ready um, to reach out to them and more about this um, information. And for our pregnant viewers and participants, um, a gift card of $50 per pregnancy for members. Um, if you sign up um, for a, a class, um, you get it within a 42 days after joining our health plan. Um, you get a basic book. Um, the dental service part is up to $350 for basic and major dental services. Um, and so we encourage you to take this opportunity and visit your local provider, um, your dentist, to make sure you get those um, check-ins um, during your time as um, you're in pregnant. And of course, we offer the childbirth classes. And, and if you had any questions in regards to these value added benefits, we're always available Monday through Friday, eight to five. Um, and again, um, you can reach out to us at 1-800-964-2247 um, or all the information that we talked about today is um, available specifically to Cook. Um, it's at cookchp.org. And we just encourage you to ask questions, especially to our members. Or if you're not a member of ours, we'll be happy to answer any questions related to our information and um, just reach out to us when available. Thank you for this time. And it's back to you, Marissa. Thank you so much, Blanca, for providing that overview <clears throat> of Cook Children's Health Plan. 
Um, I do have a follow-up question for you. Um, this is regarding the value-added services um, that you discussed. Will these services automatic, or I'm sorry, will the families automatically get these value-added services, or is this something that they need a call in advance to take advantage of, or how do they participate in these value-added services? Once a a family has chosen a medical and a dental provider, um, they are automatically our member. So th that is to them instantly. Um, they will receive a welcome packet on behalf of our health plan. And in the packet, there will be a member booklet also available on our website. And it'll give um, age specific um, how to's to access everything from our website to our portal to uh, renewing cards even to uh, submitting information possibly relating to uh, birthing classes and getting their books and things like that so they all these benefits um, are available to them as soon as they um, choose a health plan specifically to our health plan as cook children's health plan okay Thank you so much for that. Next, we have Leatrice uh, Anderson with Aetna. Leatrice? I am a community outreach specialist for Aetna Better Health, who is now actually work with uh, CVS, but we still consider Aetna. And what we're doing right now is we're officially back in the field. So we hopefully will be able to do more face-to-face -face meetings like this with our members. Um, our service areas are the same as Cook. We do the Tarrant, we do Hood, Johnson, Parker, and Wise County. And we've been really trying to outreach to some of our surrounding counties because it just seems to be a lot of um, no presence there. So since we've been out in the field, I've been trying to reach out to more Denton and Parker. But uh, we also have uh, value added services as well. Some of them are similar to what Cook's have, and you probably will hear a lot of repetition on all the value added services. But our goal is outreach on any plan, and I think I can honestly say this, when we run into anyone that's not our member, we, we know each other enough to kind of guide them to a mayor group or Cook's. And because that way, instead of them having to call in, if we know someone that's already a rep, we're pretty good about reaching out and helping each other. Uh, we do have uh, uh, over-the-counter $25 a month that our members get for over-the-counter medication strictly through CVS, and that reactivates every month is $25, and those are items that the whole family can use, and like I said, we probably have pretty much the same value-added services, some stand out a little more than others. We do have the sports physicals. We all encourage the Texas Health Step. You know, we can help you with making appointments, assisting with transportation, which something different is going on with transportation. I'm still trying to figure that out. But if someone needs that type of assistance, they can reach out to me and we can guide them and figure that out together. So that's the only thing different with, um, with Aetna as far as the transportation, we're still trying to figure out exactly how all that's gonna be working for our members. We also, for our pregnant members, we have a promise program. And basically what that is, once you do all of your prenatal visits and your postpartum visits, we give you $50 worth of um, baby items such as diapers, washes, and just different things that can help you with the baby as well. And then we also offer extra help for uh, our pregnant moms. Like if they need like a um, cell phone, we have a, um, a cell phone service assurance that we can help them with if they don't have a cell phone. But I think everyone at this point has a cell phone, but we do offer that. We have our 24 hour nurse line and we also, which is seven days, 24 hours a day. So we also have that. And then we also have, um, health and wellness services. We also have weight management programs we can help the families with. So our whole goal is just trying to encourage the health, not only focus on the children, but help the parents as well. And I know we work with closely with, you know, uh, 
Aunt Bertha, we get other resources for families. We try and help them with other resources. Just, and you know, our goal is to try and meet our members and to reach out to our members, but it don't stop there. You know, if we see there's a need and we know of a resource that can help the families, um, we all are really active on knowing what's, what's going on in the community and who can help you with different things. So we definitely try to help with just more of the Medicaid, but Aetna is real big on uh, fitness. So we do health education for children and we do it in schools and parent nights and schools. And we also do um, different type of uh, like fall festivals. Um, we'll do parent night or whatever your church or your community may be having. So if that's something you're interested in us coming out to do, you can reach out to our, our 800 you know, line and just say you want to link up with outreach and try and set up something for us to come out to your church or your child's school. And we're very active in the community. So we actually, I'm sure, all looking forward to being out of the office because we've been in for over a year. So we, we're, we're excited to jump on any events we can because we, we need to be visible. We'd like for people to know us in the community and because it's a big thing in Taryn is trust. And once people get familiar with you, they feel more comfortable to ask questions, you know, what their family may need. And we're not afraid to say, I don't know that answer, but I will get back to you with that. But um, that's pretty much it as far as that. No, Medicaid is pretty much Medicaid and we all offer something separate. When in doubt, you can call our 800 number, which is 800. 248-7767. And we have a really big group of what they call member service workers there. And also our website is www.etnabetterhealth.com slash Texas. And it's very user friendly. I go in there about once a week to make sure I can navigate it. So when I'm explaining it to our members, you know, I can give them a step by step because sometimes you need someone to actually tell you versus clicking on things. But my uh, information is in the chat box. Please feel free to reach out to me. I'll be more than glad to help you. If I don't know the answers, we'll find it together. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Beatrice, for sharing information on Aetna's health plan. Um, I do have a question for you. So what happens if a child or pregnant person loses their eligibility if they are with Aetna? Well, what we'll do is we'll try and we'll reach out to our member services and see what exactly went wrong. And sometimes it's something as simple as they didn't submit a form or something's missing. And it's usually a quick fix. And if it's not, the member services are there to guide them on what their next, you know, approach may be. Cause sometimes the income changed or, you know, they just don't have, they don't want to submit the paperwork, but they don't just, you know, say, okay, you're on your own. They will try to find other resources to help the family until they can get it all figured out. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, next, we, <laughs> next we will have uh, Lydia Bell. She's community relations uh, representative with Amerigroup. Lydia? So just a little background on who Amerigroup is. Um, Amerigroup was established in 1994, which means that we've been serving Texas proudly for more than 20 years now. We do have over 900,000 members in Texas under Star Chip, Star Kids, and our Star Plus products. One thing that I did not include on that slide is the Tarrant service delivery area, which are the areas that we currently have our products. That's going to be Tarrant County, Johnson, Hood, Wise, Denton, and Parker. So this next slide, we're just going to go over um, some coverage for our expectant mothers. Of course, our benefits are designed to make a difference in you and your family's lives and to make things as easy as possible for you. Here are services offered by Amerigroup for expecting mothers through a Medicaid and CHIP perinatal program. One of the benefits that we have is going to be access to a network of doctors and hospitals nearby. Again, we wanna make sure that you're as comfortable as possible and make things um, within close proximity to you and your family access to perinatal specialists when referred by your perinatal care doctor, 
There's gonna be prescriptions and prenatal vitamins. We're covering labor and delivery, as well as postpartum visits for their mother after the baby is born. We're also gonna cover regular checkups, prescriptions, and immunizations for the baby after the baby is born. So as my, um, my counterparts covered prior to my presentation, these are just gonna be some extra benefits that Amerigroup members get. These are, as they refer to value added services, okay? So one of the benefits is gonna be the 24 hour nurse helpline where nurses are available to our members 24 hours a day, seven days a week for any healthcare questions that you might have. If you wake up in the middle of the night and your three month old is running a fever, um, he or she may be coughing, they may not be eating like they typically do, you can always call the nurse helpline at any time of day or night. They're gonna basically walk you through the steps on how to keep your baby comfortable until you take them to the doctor or are able to take them to the provider the very next day. Okay, we also have free cell phones with our smartphones through the Lifeline program with monthly minutes, data, and texts. And we also host educational events and health education programs close to you on childbirth, infant care, parenting, and pregnancy. And if these aren't classes that we're specifically hosting, we can definitely um, find some resources that are hosting these classes in your area. And just a friendly reminder, all of these benefits and services are available to no cost, at no cost to you. Continued coverage for newborns. The benefits a newborn gets will depend on the family's income as we went over earlier. If income is at or below the income eligibility requirements for Medicaid, the newborn will be moved to Medicaid and receive 12 months of Medicaid benefits starting at the date of birth or if the unborn child is in a family with income above the income eligibility for Medicaid, then their benefits will continue through the CHIP perinatal program as a CHIP perinate newborn. And what that basically means is, um, as the ladies explained earlier, if you guys remember with CHIP, there's just some costs associated with um, some of the medical coverage and prescriptions, okay? And this is just information on how to find out more about your benefits, services, and providers. You can always access our website at www.myamerigroup.com TX. There's our Amerigroup member services number at 800-600-4441. There's an awesome team of member services representatives that are available to assist you Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. You can also go to yourtexasbenefits.com, which is an, another awesome resource that I recommend um, just to find out any information about your benefits. If you need any updates on renewal, anything of that sort, that's going to be your best bet. Okay. And for Starship eligibility questions, you can always call 800 964 2777. And then we also have two more resources here listed on this slide. It's going to be HHSC in Espanol. That's just hhs.texas.gov backslash ES. And then we also have information on the adoption assistance or permanency care assistance. Okay, and here's all of my information available to you all. Um, once again, my name is Lydia Bell. I'm a community relations representative with Amerigroup. You can always give me a call on my cell phone at 682-206-9828. Five, seven, or I'm always available to you via email at lydia.bell at amerigroup.com. Please feel free to call me or the member services number at any time. Just to let you guys know that our services don't stop at just what we do as a health plan, but as Latress mentioned, if you all ever need any type of resources or food, education, housing, things of that sort, we're also available to you to connect you with any other community resources. 
And we also have a community resource link that's a wonderful resource to our members that you can use um, via the My Amera Group uh, TX website. Well, thank you so much, Lydia, for sharing information on Amerigroup. You're welcome. Um, one question I do have for you. Yes, um, ma'am. Can members change their, well, I'm sorry, first, can some, how can someone find a provider on Amerigroup plan? Okay, so um, you would just go to the website that I mentioned. It's just www.myamerigroup/tx. On that homepage, there is going to be a box that says find a doctor. So our members can click on that box. And then from there, you can actually search for providers by zip code. You can search by specialty. Um, if there is a doctor that you work with or had worked with in the past or work with currently, you can also search by that provider's name as well. Okay, and so um, can members change their primary care doctors? And if so, is there a limit to how many times they can switch providers? So members are allowed to change providers at any given moment. Um, typically when I'm doing my presentations or when I'm doing member phone calls, which is what we've been doing a lot of the time since the pandemic, we do make sure that we educate our members and let them know that they're not stuck with any one provider, they're not stuck with any one specialist, that they can switch providers at any time um, while they're covered under Amerigroup, okay? I think there's been, sometimes there's been some in, misinformation with that in the community. Um, I think sometimes we've even had some providers that may not necessarily know about that. So people do think that they're stuck with one provider or another, but definitely um, making sure that our members do know that you can switch providers at any time. You can either go to our website or you can call the member services number. Perfect, thank you so much. Thank you so, guys. Uh, we will now, thank you. So we will now transition to one of the three uh, dental MCOs in Texas. Um, I have Brenda, Olivares, she's a member service specialist at DenaQuest. Brenda? Hi, good evening. My name is Brenda Olivares. I'm a member advocate specialist for DentaQuest. Um, thank you for allowing us to share this time to speak to you a little bit about our um, services that we offer and kind of show you a little bit about what we do. So, DentaQuest, uh, we cover the whole state of Texas. We are one of the three dental plans in Texas. Um, and my area that I cover, the service area that I cover is region two, region three. So region two, region three. So if we're looking at this, you can see region three is the Tarrant area service area, the Dallas uh, Fort Worth area. Region two would be on the other side where Abilene and Wichita Falls falls. So this is the coverage um, and I am the representative for these particular two areas. With that being said, um, I do want you to understand with DentaQuest the importance of knowing your benefits. Um, some of the misconceptions that we do have with um, the dental program is that they most parents believe that dental is covered under medical health plans, and that's not necessarily true. Um, so for children um, that either have Medicaid or CHIP, they do have a separate plan, and that would be their dental. Um, it depends on which one they have actually selected, um, and that is the one that's going to be able to help with coverage. So the reason why I brought you to our website, denaquest.com backslash Texas, um, so that you can understand how to view your benefits if you do have a child with Medicaid or CHIP and to see the benefits and coverage for that. So once you're on our website, you can see here, there's uh, several little um, icons, secure member website. We can discuss that here a little bit further, but member benefits really is what I'd like for you to look at. So when you click on Medicaid benefits, it tells you the benefits that are covered under Medicaid for the children um, that have that particular coverage. And you can also look at our CHIP benefits. You can see the coverage for that. 
Um, now, we're wanting to talk about some of our value added benefits. When you go under the icon, one, two, three, over, extra benefits, you're gonna see our value added services. Um, if you visited our website in the past, it has all changed. So it's a little new and the reason why I wanna navigate with you so that you can understand it. Um, if you do have done a quest, um, we do offer a free dental care kit for child and parent. Um, it is within the first 90 days upon it enrollment, um, you would receive a zippered backpack dental kit that includes toothbrush, toothpaste, brushing, brushing chart, and stickers. Um, and the parent would receive a spinning toothbrush timer and floss because we do encourage parents and children to brush together um, so that you can get that modeling um, going on. The, reason, the way you would receive this, um, if you click on here, it automatically um, highlights the Medicaid button or the chip button. So depending on which one you have, you would just click on it and it would automatically take you to um, the page that you would have to fill out to receive this particular uh, value added service um, gift. And so if you go down here, we do offer a $20 Walmart gift card for preventative visits. And so this is an annual uh, $20 Walmart gift card. Um, and these are the appropriate covered preventative care. Um, and so if you look at the guidelines, it's six uh, months to 35 months, and it would be a dental checkup. So if you've done that um, within the first six months and, and up to 35 months, you would be able to go in here and receive that um, um, $20 Walmart gift card, depending whether you have Medicaid or CHIP. We do have here, it says applies only to Medicaid members. For CHIP members, it's 15 to 18 years old. So just kind of keep in mind that there is a cutoff here under 15 to 20. That's, a, uh, that's actually for Medicaid and it's 15 to 18 for CHIP members. So just kind of keep in mind that there is a little bit of a difference, um, but each one, uh, once you move up to each tier, the treatment for preventative care changes. Um, so 36 to five years, we're looking for the topical fluoride treatment, six years to nine years, the first molar sealed, 10 to 14, second molar sealed, and then 15 to 20 for Medicaid would be the two teeth cleanings, and then for CHIP would be 15 to 18 tooth teeth cleanings. Again, so here are the two icons that you would click on in order to fill that out so that you could receive that value added service uh, gift. And then we do have our online member portal. For those that are members of DentaQuest, only members of DentaQuest. We do have our member portal. We are encouraging our members to utilize this portal so that you can print out your ID card, change your dentist, find a specialist, um, and chat with us online. And when you do that, and if you've done that after September the 1st, you would receive a $10 Walmart gift card for each child that you've registered onto the member portal. So let's say that you have four kids. They're all on DentaQuest and you've registered all on their member portal and it was after September the 1st of 2020, you would be able to receive $10 gift card per child. Now it is a reward that's only available first time for your registry per lifetime per member. So just kind of keep that in mind. This is again, a reward that you will receive after September the 1st, 2020 if you've registered for your member portal. Again, the service is free. We're just encourage, encouraging you to have access to your children's case so that you know how to um, look up dentists, find a specialist. If you have questions, concerns, that's what the portal is there for. And then lastly, we do have a $10 Walmart gift card after, uh, well, I'm sorry, for a dental visit after an emergency room visit. So we want you to go visit your primary care dentist, your main dentist, um, 30 days after your emergency room visit uh, for a dental related issue. Um, and we would be able to give you a $10 Walmart gift card um, 
once you've taken um, and filled out the form appropriate to which service you have, whether it's Medicaid or CHIP, but there's also a quiz attached to it. So again, the, the gift card itself is uh, per member per lifetime. So all of these great uh, value added services are allotted to our members. They're on our website. If you feel like you wanna go through and just kind of see which ones apply to you, you're more than welcome to. Um, and I do also want you to see um, that when you go on here, I'm gonna take you back to your dental plan. Um, when you click on Medicaid, um, you're able to see your Medicaid handbook. So if you are ever concerned um, regarding of what are some of your rights as a member, or you want to know if a service is covered, you can actually click on it and it's going to take you to a PDF version, version of our member handbook. Um, and so when you scroll through that, you can kind of see what all is um, there for you for our Medicaid members. We also do have that for our CHIP members. Um, and you can see that here. And if you have questions, concerns, again, if you've registered for the member portal, we do have that live uh, chat feature. But if you want to give us a call and chat with us, you're more than welcome to. Um, we would have that information um, on our page where you can give us a call. And uh, one thing I do want to tell you, and um, some of the questions I do receive is, well, how do I find a dentist? Um, so on our website, uh, it would be the first icon, it's find a dentist. And so we're going to just do a little quick simulation as if we're going to the dentist and we're gonna assume that you live in the Diamond Hill area. Um, and so we're going to look for, mm, so we use this, yes, this is correct. Um, and for some reason, this is here, we'll do this. Okay, confirm selection. And so you can go under dentist name if you know the dentist that you're currently looking for by specialist if we're looking for a pediatric dentist. And it would pull up the ones in your area. Um, so you are able to filter by distance, language, um, if they're accepting new patients, Pediatric dentistry, if you're looking for general, um, and then also if you're wanting a male, a female, and any type of like um, just specialties, if there's special needs child that needs specific needs, um, you would be able to filter through, through there. So again, this is a wonderful tool if you want to be able to look up and see what is around you um, regarding the dental. Um, so hopefully that's been um, a little bit of a help to you in navigating our website, knowing a little bit about us. Um, I've been with DentaQuest for about eight years. I'm a member of the Children's Oral Health Coalition. I am all over the place and I love doing presentations on oral health. So if you ever see me, please don't be shy. Come up and talk to me. I'd love to share some of my information or maybe we can talk regarding about maybe things that you've learned. Um, but as always, just appreciative of your time. Thank you for allowing me and I apologize for my son interrupting, but thank you. Thank you so much, Brenda, for sharing great information on DentaQuest. What tips could you share uh, to parents um, whenever, if they need help finding a quality, kid-friendly dental provider? Okay, what perfect. What are some tips that you could provide? Perfect. So I did a presentation in Keller last night for the Pregnancy Help for You. And one uh, thing that we discussed was about um, putting the emphasis on not just a pediatrician, but looking for your pediatric dentist at an early age. So this is speaking to those mommies who are currently expecting or have a young one um, at home. You wanna be able to start looking as soon as you're pregnant so that you are able to kind of get those questions out of the way. The, process in when you look for a pediatrician should be the same when you're looking for a pediatric dentist or a general dentist, whichever one you prefer. Um, ask yourself, is this where I'm going to want to take my child? Do I feel comfortable? Do, you, do I feel like my child is going to have a great time at this location? Are they friendly? Are they responsive? Um, do they cater to little kids? 
Those are great questions to ask. And so if you are pregnant, I want you to make sure that you are making that effort and asking those questions beforehand and having a list of dental um, providers in your area that you would like to investigate a little bit more. It's okay to ask these questions. One thing that may, many, more, many parents don't know is that in the state of Texas, we do have quite a bit of dentists that after three years old, you're not allowed to go in the back. Are you comfortable with that? And if you are comfortable with that, then perfect. But if you're not, then you probably need to continue looking for another provider. Um, because if that is an issue, uprooting them is going to cause some trust issues in that child. Um, so just kind of keep in mind, when you go for that first dental visit at six months old, you want to make sure um, that that location is going to possibly be their forever location until they're 18. That's what we're trying to achieve, that they're having that relationship, that they're setting those, um, that, that relationship with that dentist. Because once we're bouncing them around and changing them around, um, it's very difficult for a child, especially an anxious child, to develop that relationship with their dentist. I ask you this, how comfortable would you be doing that with your pediatrician? And most of the time, the answer is no, because you want one pediatrician who knows the, the medical history of your child, who is aware of your child, who will receive your child, who knows their nicknames. That is the same response you want for your pediatric dentist and or general dentist, that they have that same rapport. So I hope that answered your question. And if you don't know and you're wanting to know more, ask your friends, ask um, your neighbors, anybody with kids and do Google reviews, find out you know, which ones are receiving good reviews, which ones are not. Because surprise, surprise, most parents um, don't report bad um, activity in the sense of like if they've been mistreated or if something happened, they won't report it. And so just kind of keep in mind, it's okay to ask all these questions because you are your child's advocate at the end of the day. And I hope that answered your question. Thank you. That was perfect. Thank you so much, Brenda. Um, last but not least, we have Christy Rutten, CHW Clinical Program Manager, Senior Community-Based Coordinator uh, for DFW and Northeast Regions 2 and 3 with United Healthcare Texas Dental. Christy? Yeah. Uh, like she said, I'm Christy Round and I'm with United Healthcare Dental. I've been with United Healthcare for seven years. We are one of the newer dental health plans, but we are not new uh, in any form or fashion in medical care or new to caring for um, our members as we've been around a very long time um, in medical and, well, and in dental. This is just not a separate dental plan. Um, so we are new as a separate dental plan, but we did get awarded um, in 2019 for this program. And then we started September of, of this year uh, during COVID. And so we started this year. So it was kind of a, a start where we had to kind of start from home. But um, it's really been a great experience, giving us a, a time to really connect with our members, to be able to talk to our members and giving them, give our members the time to really talk to them and answer questions and, and all the time that they need. Um, United Healthcare is a statewide program, so we are all over the state of Texas. Um, I actually do work for region um, two and three, and I'll get to that when we get to the, to the map, but um, we do serve Medicaid and CHIP dental members. The next slide, um, our mission is helping people lead healthier lives by keeping smiles healthy, and we're trusted name in healthcare. We try to deliver, you know, simple and, and by trust. Um, we also, you know, partner with our experience from all of our other programs um, all across the board from the other health plans, from our medical health plans as well. You can go ahead and move on. I'll just speed it up a little bit. Medicaid is health care coverage for people with low incomes and serves children from zero to 20 as um, we covered earlier, 
So like I, I serve all of region three mm -hmm. and then I serve part of region two, mainly Wichita, Clay, Montague, uh, Jack, Archer, Young, uh, maybe one or two other counties in region two, but I serve all of region three. So if you know of anyone in, in a different area, uh, please feel free to give them my number and contact information. On, on this slide, um, this course is our, our slide where we have our member-centric and of course provider-centric. But on our member, I wanted to point out a certain, a few key positions. One of them, of course, I'm the community-based coordinator is what you know we're called on the outside. And we connect people, as I said before, to resources and education. So when we're out there, we, we aren't just connecting people to dental. We, we for sure are connecting people that's why we love to partner with organizations um, and, and like this one, because if we're out there helping someone, we don't want to say, you know, listen to a problem and say, sorry, we can't help you. Um, we love to, to, to partner with other organizations like the one we're on with. So we can say, we know someone who can help you. And we have a personal contact that we know and we trust that we can give that person to. And they're, they will be you know provided for and cared for with someone that we trust, knowing we're gonna you know, let, let that person um, take care of them. And so we definitely uh, coordinate with, with other organizations for that reason. Uh, we also participate in health fairs, clinic days, uh, migrant farm worker outreach. So if you know anyone that's working in the field that are uh, migrant farm workers and you know uh, them, we try and get those people in quicker and quickly so they can actually be seen before they go out. So we, we definitely expedite that. So we try to identify those members so we can have them uh, come in and be seen quicker. Um, one thing about you know, in healthcare is, of course, we're all local, so we have you know, everyone local. Uh, it's not someone far away that's trying to serve the members. We, we're right there in the community, building the relationships with the community, with, with our members, with, with the people that, that um, they do business with, with you, you know, we're right there in the community with them with also. Um, so also the member advocates is the other position I wanted to uh, point out on this slide. And the member advocates are your advocates. So if you're under our plan with United Healthcare, a member advocate, if you're like me and you're not really tech, tech, uh, tech savvy, which I'm not going on the computer sometimes is overwhelming. And you get on the computer and you're like, I'll oh, just forget it. <laughs> so to me, if, if you have a member advocate, you can call, we can give them their number, you can always call me always email me. But a member advocate is there for you to call and they can help you find a dentist, um, but not only a dentist, but you know, if you have any other issues that you're having with your child or even in your house, or you know, you're trying to find something in the area, um, they, they'll help you with that too. It's just not all about dental. So, you know, if you're if you get on jump on the website and you're just overwhelmed, just uh, reach out to the member advocate, you know, like, or me, and we can certainly get you connected and certainly get you to the place where you need to be. And um, just in a simple direct phone call as well, where you don't have to dial the one eight hundred number and choose about four buttons. It's just a direct phone phone call. So that's that's always um, been helpful to a lot of people. Okay, I'll go over this really quickly. Uh, Value-added services are, and, and these uh, are changing up a bit in September. I won't go over the, the, the changes today, but what, uh, what we have, the reward for like the baby teeth program. So you get a $20 gift card for dental supplies, toothbrush, toothpaste, mouthwash, and dental floss. Um, and of course, ages, six months through three years if you go in for your uh, visit, your dental visit. And for ages three years to 12 years, you get a backpack with a dental care kit, which includes toothbrush, toothpaste, and floss. 
And then if you're ages six through 19, you get a sports mouth guard where you could use to either play sports or you can also use it um, at night, like if you grind your teeth or for some other reason. So it's a multi-purpose. And, and those are uh, very quick going over of our value added services. And um, I don't know if I had, do I have a next slide? I think maybe my inside. The inside is my contact information, my phone number, and my email. Um, also, it has our, um, our information to reach out to the company. If you ever lose your card, you can always get it, print out your card on the site. There is also, we have our website for people that don't mind the computer and can get on the computer and find their way to find, um, you know, find a dentist, find the area that they want, um, you know, all, you know, print out a card, all the good things that you can do and find on, on the computer if you, you can find your way around that. Um, if not, like I said, you have my email, you have my phone number, feel free to call me and ask me anything. If I don't know the answer, I'll tell you I don't know the answer, but I'll, I'll find someone who does know the answer and get back with you on that. But um, I appreciate y'all having me here today. Thank you, Christy, for sharing that information on United Healthcare. Um, Elaine, I'm not sure if I have time to ask questions. If it's okay, I cert most certainly can. Is for the the MCOs, so for medical. So, how does a Medicaid recipient receive mental health services, and are referrals required for that? These services are brought to you through um, either calling your case manager is through member services. They'll go ahead and direct you into case management and upon, upon them assessing for specifically us as cook children, they'll assess the needs and they'll go through our specific company that we work with, which is Beacon. And they, mm -hmm. a representative will reach out to our members and they will start the whole process. Um, and um, they, our members go from there. And these services, depending, um, again, it would be covered under the specific program. Um, so for CHIP, if there's an incurred cost, everything would be given, that information would be given up front to discussion with the caseworker um, and um, that facility that and the member. What should a parent do if they want to change their dental provider? Um, if they want to change their dental provider, um, they can reach out to their health plan and um, we can change their dental provider. So just reach out to their health plan. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much. And is there a limit to how many times they could change their dental provider? No, they can, they can change their dental provider if they're not happy with it, certainly. Perfect. Thank you so much. So for the MCOs, what happens if a client gets a bill for uh, covered services? Should they, should the parents pay out of pocket or who should they contact? With us, they'll contact their member services. And at that point, they'll uh, pull it up in the, the bill and see what went wrong. And then they'll get together with our claims department. And sometimes they just have to resubmit it. Maybe a code was missing or something like that. But they shouldn't They shouldn't pay out of pocket. Mm -mm, not at all, especially for Perfect. a covered service. And to add to that Perfect. as well, um, to submit the information as soon as possible. Um, again, um, because CHIP and Medicaid are a limited time within an enrollment, so as soon as you get a bill, please turn it in to, to the health plan. So that way the health member, the advocate can go ahead and help you and assist you and everything can be taken care of through the claims department and so forth. Perfect. Um, let's see, for dental, uh, can you please explain what a first dental home is? Since we spoke about that during the presentation. So first dental home, that is going to be your child's first dental home um, up to, I believe, 35 months. Um, and so that is going to be where you're getting all of the information you need to start your basic oral care journey. 
It is extremely important that you go to your first dental home. I know a lot of pediatricians tell you that you can go at as early as one. Actually, with Medicaid and CHIP, you can go as early as six months in order to find that first dental care home. So um, if you don't know who that would be, there are some that have registered as first dental care homes. So please call us, let us know, uh, depending on who your dental uh, provider is, we would be able to help you with that in finding um, a place where you can call home. All right. Um, do I have time for one more question? So our braces covered? I'll take that one. <laughs> so uh, braces, braces, there's a misconception regarding braces that braces are no longer covered. That is not true. Um, braces are covered. However, it has to be medically necessary in order for you to receive braces. So if you go to an orthodontics and they tell you, you need braces, um, they're going to then send that to your dental insurance. Um, there is x-rays with explanation that goes with that. If you get a denial letter, you do have up to 30 days to appeal that process. If you feel as a parent that you need to appeal that decision, you're more than welcome to do so. Um, but regarding braces, it is medically necessary and it is defined by that. So um, if you're wanting to know what that is, you're more than welcome to give us a call. We'll uh, be able to walk you through that, um, but the way that uh, the state looks at it, it is that your child's life is in jeopardy if they do not receive that care. Perfect, thank you so much. I have a lot of questions about that. So thank you so much, Brenda. Um, let's see, thank you to our great panelists. We have learned some key information to make sure families can access as much needed insurance as well as finding the medical and dental providers that is a good fit for their families and for their children. Um, before turning this back to Elaine, I would like to thank each panelist to, uh, I would like for each panelist to share a piece of advice or information that you didn't get to share earlier to help the parents. Hi, this is Lydia with Amerigroup. I'll go ahead and go first on that. Um, my piece of advice is to make sure that you check your mail. Um, we do send a lot of things, a lot of important information through the mail. One of those items is going to be your member handbook, okay? So once you're an Amerigroup member, we're going to send out the member handbook. That's extremely important to go ahead and hold on to that and also to review because that's going to have important information on your services what's covered, what's not covered, um, any frequently asked questions, how to change providers, your value added benefits, important telephone numbers, important websites. So that is my piece of key advice for you all. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, this is Christy and, and my advice would be um, if you move to not only change your address with your um, MCO, but change your address with HHSD as well. That would be my advice. And if you get denied, don't get discouraged. Always reapply uh, or appeal the decision of the state. Um, it, or you can reach out to any of us here today. We have our contact information. We can help you through that process. Um, and again, don't get discouraged. Um, just reapply. Um, my advice would be when in doubt, ask. Yes. Because it can always direct you accordingly because you never know to you ask. And a lot of people do not read the, the information we send out. So if you don't want to go through the book and you have specific questions, just call in. There's someone waiting to answer your questions. And my piece of advice is, like I said earlier, there is no one else but you as your child's advocate. So if you don't say anything no one else is going to stand up. So you fight for your child. If you feel that there is maybe a misunderstanding or whatnot, you need to be able to pick up that phone and either call us, call whoever your plan is and, and let it be known so that your child gets the best care that they deserve and, and need. Um, in that, with DentaQuest, one thing I didn't mention is that we're trying to do more of a digital communication. So on our 
website that I was navigating, um, we do have a link where you can put your email address where we can communicate via email um, if that is easier for you so that you're not bombarded with a bunch of mail um, like, you know, just all the time. So um, just again, you are your child's advocate. Please fight for your child and let us know how we could be of service to you. We're excited to be able to educate you on oral care and walk in this journey with you. I'm sorry. I had one thing else. So I just thought of when she said that uh, we are starting to do text. So if you're one of um, United Healthcare dental members, if you would like to start get, receiving texts, we're now um, starting starting that, and we are making calls to see if you want to opt in for those. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you so much for that information. Um, Elaine, back to you. Thank you. Thank you again to our moderator, Ms. Marissa Navarro. You did an excellent job, bravo. <laughs> And to our expert panelists for all the great information they've shared this evening. Bravo and thank you all.